Uh, Coach, the final 3.30, they, they outscore you 8-0. Uh, what was your assessment, obviously, without seeing tape, but just uh, live, just what did you see from you guys down that final three and a half minutes? Yeah, we didn't execute down the stretch. We didn't get into our sets a couple times. Um, we also passed up an open look at the end. Uh, just wasn't sharp offensively at the end. And that, that was it. You know, uh, overall defensively, I think we held the 45 in the second half. Scrap, fought, great. Just couldn't execute down the stretch. And we'll learn from this. And get better. And uh, you know, we a uh, lot to be proud of tonight. We just didn't execute in the last two minutes. You've been able to talk to Kevin. I know he was there with his with his teammates there at the end. Um, just how he's he's feeling, how severe this might be. Yeah, you know he's sore, but um, we don't know how severe. We'll see. I think tomorrow how he wakes up and, and then go from there. But right now, nothing's been determined. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Brian, you're on mute. I apologize. I'm sorry. You said you would see tomorrow. Is that expecting any sort of scan or anything, or is that just going to be with the physios, with the doctors? You know, honestly, I, I don't know. I just kind of got off the floor, talked to the coaches, talked to the team, and uh, came straight here. So I haven't heard, but uh, I'd imagine they're going to assess him in the morning and then see if a scan is necessary or not. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, just, would you make a Landry's performance? I mean, career night for him, and he really seemed to pick up the offense once Kevin went out. Yeah, he was great. Obviously, he made a lot of shots, but also, you know, was able to drive the ball for us a little bit. Uh, they're getting the guts of their defense, and so he, he was a huge performance. He, you know, very important for us to stay in this game uh, with his effort, and, uh, you know, just shows that he's, he's got some potential to, to expand his game and, and do a little more. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Uh, Steve, I hate to belabor the point, but um, with Kevin, the plan for now, right, is he would just continue on with you guys on this road trip um, and James and all of them, too? I think so, but I, I think, yes, yeah, I, you know, I imagine now that he's on the trip, he'll stay on the trip and get treatment um, the rest of the way. Thank you. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, uh, what did you see from Kyrie down the stretch? And when you've got a guy who is so good at hitting shots in clutch moments, do you kind of, how do you balance that versus, like you said, getting into those sets and getting the rest of the offense going? Well, our sets were kind of designed to create space for him. Uh, we just never really got into them, never really got sharp, and we got left with him, you know, having really tough looks over a defense that was loaded to him and, you know, a couple times with Adam Bio's length on him. So, you know, we got to do a better job of um, getting the right matchup, uh, but also maybe getting into our sets to create some space for him. Justin Walters with Picks 11 News. Hey, Steve, of course, not knowing how long Durant may be out, do you think this is an opportunity for others to step up in the next man up mentality? I know you spoke about that a few days ago and just testing the mental toughness of the team. Sure, I mean, we've only had, I mean, it's been that way the whole year. You know, we've had, you know, Kevin's only played 27 games, and, uh, you know, James been out a couple weeks, Kai's, Kai's missed some games. So we've had plenty of guys uh, out of the lineup. So I think our team's used to stepping up and, and having different combinations and rotations. So nothing new for us. Last question Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Steve, with Landry, you know, he's had to take on some additional ball handling role lately with, with you guys being shorthanded at the point. Do those experiences kind of build up confidence, comfort level that kind of leads to a night like this? Yeah, it could contribute. I mean, I think he's, you know, a guy that, that played point guard in the past, in college perhaps. Um, you know, I think this experience will help him develop, help him feel more confident handling the ball. But, uh, you know, I thought his scoring was outstanding tonight. He also got us into some sets at times and, and was able to kind of manage the team. So a little bit of growth from Landry and obviously his shot making was great. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate it.